What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a highlight effect in Vegas Pro 14. So you'll see on screen right now I have Vegas Pro 14 up and this is what you'll need to do. So the bottom is the song, anyone wondering the song I used, it is this one right here, a link to it will be in the description. And every time there was, um, I believe it's a kick or a piano, piano. Every time there is a piano, I lay down a marker. So that's what these orange things are. And the way you do that, you listen for it. So you say there's one here, and then you press M on your keyboard to lay down this marker. If you make a mistake, you can always move it around. You can also right click and delete it. So to save time for the tutorial, I've already got mine set out here. And the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna press Control C, Control V onto a new clip. Now we come over to the event pen and crop. Now I recommend putting this as big as you can. Make sure Sync Cursor is unchecked. Head over to Mask and make sure you're on the first keyframe. And then pick which one you want to, well, depending how many objects you have, pick um, the objects that you want to glow or change color. So I'm gonna start with the USB here because it's so simple. Come over to the Pen tool or the Anchor Creation tool and simply left click around it like so. And this is all you have to do until you get to the end and you want to link back up. So once you go to the dot that you first created, everything should highlight yellow. You select it and that is now masked out. Now, of course, it's hard to be very accurate on this. So where it says feather type, select both and you can put this to 2.0. So that USB is done. However, there's still this USB, the phone and the $20 bill. Now, in order to do this, what you need to do is create more video tracks. Then you press Control C, press Control V, Control V, and Control V. So here's what we have. The first one here is for the right USB. The second one here will be for this USB. The next one here will be for the phone. And the final one will be for the $20 bill. So that means individually each track you'd mask out each one. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll be back to you when it is done. So I've masked them all out. The top is the $20 bill. The next one is the phone. The next one is the USB. And the next one is the first USB I showed you masking out. Now, this is where the markers come into use. What I'm gonna do is simply split everything where the markers are. And this will make more sense uh, when we get to the coloring part. Okay, there we go. It's done pretty quick and let's get into it. So this first part here where this part is, there's going to be nothing happening, but as soon as it drops, that's when things are going to happen. Now, the way I am going to do this, so I know I am going to be making sure I'm getting every note. First thing, I'm going to start with the $20 bill on the left up here. So for this, we are going to be heading over to video effects. If you don't see it, then come over to view windows layout and select default layout. Now from video effects, you'll notice when I showed you the example at the start, it was only with uh, a color white and I did that with levels. But if you want to use different colors, you can use color corrector and this will change color to whatever you want to. So I'll demonstrate this part of the tutorial with color corrector. So, First of all, red tones. I'm going to drag and drop this on the top. Again, this is for the $20 bill. Now this is what color corrector looks like. And as you can see, it's right here. And the more you go towards red, the more red it will be. So I want it a very strong red like so. Now I'm going to toggle the animation button and then make sure sync cursor is checked this time. Then what we're going to do, all we're going to do is come across to the end of the clip and we're simply going to come to the mids and type in zero. Now, this is the effect it's created. So playing it through, you can see that's what it does. Now you'll notice as it hit red, it also changed color. That's pretty good effect. And the reason it does that is because in order to get back from uh, the uh, red up here, it has to go around like that, as you can see, just to get back to zero. Now, if you don't like that happening, you can always head over to color balance and you'll see color balance uh, a bit more 
easier. So I will take off the color correct I just done and we're going to animate this red here on the uh, color balance. So very first keyframe, I'm going to put it all the way up so we have a very vibrant red. I'm going to come to the end and I'm going to set this back to zero. Now you'll see if I play this through, it's going to go from red and it's just going to go straight back to normal color but with a nice smooth fade. You can see that's how it's going to look. So depending which one you like, color balance, color corrector, you pick. The next thing is the phone. Now I'm going to be using levels for this and this is the one I showed you or the example I showed at the start. So here's levels right here. I drag and drop on the default and this is where we press the animation button. On the very first one, put 0 0.300. Of course you can experiment to see which one you like. Come across to the end and set this all the way back to 1. Now if I X out of this and play it through from the beginning, this is what we have. Just like that. Now another thing you can do to make this easier, uh, I have this in order. For example, the dollar bill is at the top and I know the very bottom track here is going to be here. So I put it in order. Another thing you do to come over to the end and you can just type in, um, for example, dollars. This one is going to be phone. This one's going to be USB green because it has the green uh, stripe across it and this can be called USB black. So there that just tells you what you're going to be editing. So we've done that, we just done the phone. The next thing is the third one here. So I'm going to come down here and it says USB uh, green. That is the third one. I'm going to, this time I will be using um, color balance again because I think it looks better than just white. And I'm going to drag and drop on. And what I recommend doing, just experiment with the colors. So this one's going to be purple. Animation button, come across to the end and select zero. Now, once again, playing it through, I've done three. Remember, I've done the dollar bill, the phone, and this USB with the green strip. Playing it through now. Now, there may be a bit of lag, so it doesn't look like it is synced with the music, but once you render it out, it does um, play smoothly. So the final one is, of course, this USB here, which is USB black and I'm going to add on a default color balance again. This time, well, we'll go for a yellow and animation button, come across to the end, back to zero, X out of this, and this is four just done. So you can see that's how it looks. And now all of this over here is the example you saw at the start. So this was all done with levels. You can see it might look confusing, but it's actually very, very simple. And this one here on the left is just what we've just created. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it's been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.